In this video, we're going to go ahead and take a look at how to insert data into a table that already exists. So now I have a table called Books and Publisher and Author, and I want to actually put rows of information in there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use a command called insert, and I'm just going to go ahead and type in insert in my command uh, for the SQL commands. Insert, and then what we're going to do is we're going to tell it what to insert it into. So the next keyword is just going to be into. And then we pick the table that we want, so I'm going to go ahead and put Books. Now what we're going to do here is we need to tell it what we're going to insert into the books and it's going to be basically a keyword called values. It's pretty easy to set up. That's the structure for setting it all up. Now we just need to input our actual data. We start that with a left parenthesis and then we start inputting our data. Now I'm going to use the data from this t row right here. So I'm going to be using 1 and then this ISBN 10, ISBN 13, the title, the, the category, the price, binding, publisher, date, author, and publisher. I'm going to just go ahead and copy that and paste that in my code. And now I just need to modify it a little bit. Um, what we need to have are comma separated values. So I'm going to go ahead and separate them all by commas. And then after I get them separated by commas, what I'm going to need to do is anything with text or alpha uh, characters, any alphanumeric values that I'm going to put in here, I need to make sure that those have quotes around it. It's going to be a single quote around them. Numbers, you can get away with, even though it's a var char for this field, you can get away with it just being a one. However, it's good practice to put, put a single quote around the one. I can get away with this one. I can get away with this one without the single quotes at this time. I'm going to go ahead and when it comes to the winner king, I'm going to go ahead and put the single quote around that field and around fiction. 1499 is a decimal, so it's a number. I'm going to go ahead and leave that around P and I'll go ahead and put it around 1996. And one and two are both small ints. These last two are small ints. And I'll just go ahead for good practice, put these single quotes around all my ver char fields. Okay. So now we've got the whole structure set up. I've got a beginning parenthesis and an ending parenthesis, and then all my fields are separated by commas. One thing to keep in mind is, we go back to my table, I need to have them in the order of my tables, fields, uh, in order for that to go in correctly. So you need to make sure you have every one of these fit in here. I'm gonna go ahead, after I run this, and just paste in up through one through nine, because when we get to 10, you're gonna see I've got a problem here, and I've got the binding and publisher date are both empty, so I'll show you how to do those as well. So let's go back here. I'm gonna go ahead and hit run, and what you're gonna see now is it's gonna say one row is inserted, so I now have a row inserted in my table. And so now what I need to do is just copy the information from the next few records, and actually just post them, or paste that in here, and run my command. So I'll go ahead and do that now. I've gone ahead and pasted in records two through nine. So now here I am, I'm just gonna go ahead and do this last one so that we can get this going here with the empty values or the null values. So I've got this highlighted. I'm gonna go ahead and copy the content here and let's look at pasting this one in. And so this one's gonna be a little bit different. So I'm gonna go ahead and start with the, the parentheses again. I'm gonna go ahead and put the single quotes around 10 and uh, comma. And I'll do the single quote again on this one. I'll do the comma, single quote. And see what we're gonna have here is when we get to the value where there's nothing there, so let's do a comma, single quote, comma, single quote. Okay, audio is gonna need a single quote. The 1799 will not. And this is where I believe my first null space begins. So we'll take a look after 1799. Binding has nothing in it and publish date has nothing in it. So what I'm gonna need to do is if, in order for this to work, I can't leave these blank because I'll get an error. So what I'm gonna need to do is I'm gonna need to type in the keyword null. And it does not have any single quotes around that. And that's gonna leave it blank for us to work with. So I'll do that twice because I have two null values there, and then I've got the three, comma, three. And so using this keyword null is gonna leave that blank and allows me to insert my value into it using the code. So that's gonna leave a blank. One thing that I do wanna also point out is if I wanted to use an apostrophe S, let's say it was successes, 
with an apostrophe S. Um, of course, it doesn't look like it's spelled right. But if I wanted to do that, I've got a problem. Oh, let's see. Success. There we go. Um, I've got a problem. And the problem is the fact that when I have a single quote here, it's going to look and see that this is going to end with that one. So, so to override this or to make it basically quote it out, make it so that it actually can use an apostrophe, you need to put two of them in a row for it to recognize that it's going to be an apostrophe. Just keep that in mind if you've got some kind of title or if you've got something with an apostrophe in it. Also, if you're going to put it in um, a field that's going to be in a date data type, you need to make sure that it's in the date data type with the two days, like 05 if it was the fifth of the month, the three letters for the month, and then the four digits for the year and with the dashes in it. So keep that in mind when you're doing dates as well. But this now is going to allow me to enter in two empty values or null values when I run this. We'll hit run and it's inserted. Now all ten of my rows have been inserted and so I'm going to go ahead and continue this work by pasting in the information for the publisher as well as the author table. And this will conclude the video for inserting data into a table.